Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Bella Boulevard and I'm using the To The Moon collection which is one of the new ones um, and um, I have a large 12 by 12 photo that I'm going to use today. Um, I had a few printed in enlargements um, and uh, I was just dying to scrub this photo so I thought I would um, go for that. Um, but yes, um, obviously having a 12 by 12 photo limits the amount of space you have on the layout to add other things. So I had to, um, I, look, this photo did have some uh, areas of uh, not white space but empty space um, apart from the main subject so um, it was okay to um, include some elements down on the left hand side of the photo so I thought that's why I would do um, and um, the photo is outside it's kind of green background green and it's in the woodlands so it's green and browns um, so I picked I went through the to the moon collection and I picked out um, some of the colorways that I thought would would work um, so I've just trimmed my photo down um, and I feel that it needs um, a white um, edge around it probably because there's um, the background itself is all uh, coloured so all green or browns um, and there's no actual white um, on the photo so having that white border around the edge will just give it a nice edge and, and just make it lift it a little bit it really is is what I was trying to do um, so I've just mounted that onto some white card and then I'm going to use this green piece of paper from the to the moon collection as my background so that's just a frame going around the edge of the um, of the photo really um, I just had that piece of scrap white card that I'd uh, gone through my silhouette machine previously and um, the cut file had uh, cut incorrectly so um, that's perfect to use in this way. Um, okay so there is my um, full 12 by 12 uh, photo now um, that's my full layout and now I just want to embellish um, the side of the photo um, and probably um, the other side slightly as well. Um, so I thought um, given that the um, area on the left hand side is such wide open space um, I thought that I could fill that up with some border strips. Um, so I took the border strip paper from the To The Moon collection and I cut it apart to picked out the uh, ones that I really liked. Um, so I've just pulled out a few there and I'm just layering those up testing out this um, possibility of having lots of different strips. Um, the colours weren't um, quite perfect. Um, I loved uh, I loved the idea of having the green and the orange and the navy um, as my colour scheme but um, I brought in some of the more colourful strips and the red because I loved the phrases on the red um, strip you know all boy handsome um, I can't remember what else they say but um, lots of lovely things they said on that red strip um, but I just it, when I put it all together it just wasn't quite looking right um, so um, I think it was down to the colours I think I needed to have um, more specific colours um, I was um, really inspired by the word play that you can see there on the chipboard sheet. Now that's red, light blue, navy and orange. Um, but um, I say when I put the red in, um, it just didn't look right. And also I wanted to bring the green in because I've got the green around the edge because the photo is green. Um, so anyway, I'm just, I'm really not quite sure what I'm doing to be honest. So I'm just like having a play around um, and going through the ephemera now to see what bits might work. Um, so I'm obviously paying attention to colour, but I haven't actually decided on the colours. Um, so I'm just going through and pulling out the phrases that will work and the icons that will work. Uh, any kind of hearts or stars would be fine. I like the idea of the word play. Um, I loved that word explore, but it was just a bit too big. Uh, it was perfect colours being orange and navy. That would have worked really well. That tag down there, orange and navy, that would work really well. So I've just gone through the whole of the ephemera pack and pulled out the things that I think would work. Um, and I've just thrown them all onto my photo. So they're not in any kind of order or arranged or anything at the moment. Um, I've just kind of thrown them on there um, and uh, hoping um, that I will be able to arrange them and they will look coherent <laughs> in some way. <laughs> um, okay, so I decided to go for the stripy multicolored paper. Um, I liked how that looked. Um, I liked the fact that it had the green in. So I have um, kept the stripy um, strip at the full 12 inches and stuck that across my photo or down my photo. And then I've taken the navy arrow strip from the border strips paper um, and I've cut that down to the same width or height as my photo. So I've, I've, that's a bit smaller than the, the long 12 inch one. And I've put that over on the left hand side. 
Um, okay, so now um, I've got those two big strips in place. Um, and now I want to make sure that I bring in some other embellishments and that it, one, I want it to look embellished, but I also don't want it to look too crowded or too cluttered. And obviously I do need to leave some space around the subject. Um, that's my little boy. He's, uh, he's two. Um, and he is, uh, a real cheeky chappy, as you can see. Um, and this photo really kind of sums him up. He's just got this, um, he's very wild. So he's, uh, he's, or feral actually is probably the word I would use. He doesn't really conform or like walk along nicely and hold my hand. He is just exploring the world all the time. He's very excited by everything he sees. So this was on a trip to um, a woodland area and he was just in, having the time of his life running around the woods, um, exploring, looking at the trees, picking up branches, jumping on things. Um, and I just managed to capture him looking at me um, and, and putting a cheeky little face like that. I just managed to capture that photo um, on my phone uh, and I was really happy I did because it really kind of sums him up because he does give me this look um, a lot uh, when he's having a wonderful time and if I say to him you know come on let's go he'll throw me that look and then run off in the other direction <laughs> um, so um, I loved this photo so much so that's why I enlarged it and um, I'm really pleased that I did so my focus is definitely on boys and exploring and playing today rather than the space theme that comes in the To The Moon collection. Um, but there is plenty of other things apart from space um, in the To The Moon collection. So um, it's just brilliant for little boys, also little girls as well, of course. But um, this definitely works well for my cheeky chappy. Um, so you can see that I've added the chipboard word play down the bottom of the photo there. Um, I want to try and move that over a bit so that it's not, uh, the orange Y is not on his jumper because it lo gets lost a little bit in, in, the, in the lighter area. Um, I've pulled out some stickers from the sticker sheet, um, some circle ones. One says be yourself. The other one is like a blue starburst. I'm, I'm putting out phrase um, stickers from the sticker sheet and uh, from the ephemera. Over on the right hand side, I've added the orange border sticker, uh, scallops and uh, a yellow um, star sticker and a little banner that says, um, I think it says love you. I don't have the layout in front of me, unfortunately. Um, and some stars. And then over on the left hand side, I've added more words and arrows. Um, and at the top there, I have another banner. Um, so it's all kind of coming together. Um, and it is just um, a bit, not random, but um, it, it's got to be in like a large cluster on the left-hand side because there's nowhere else for it to go. Um, also, when you're scrapbooking like this, it's not a traditional layout because you don't have the small photos um, or like e even if they're large photos, you still have a photo on the layout to um, arrange things around. Well, that's not the case here because my photo is, is the layout. It's so huge that um, I have to just be careful about where I'm placing things and it's not a traditional um you know, I can't create traditional clusters around photos because I don't have any. I've, my, my background is my photo. So I'm just getting everything stuck down now. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. I like how it's looking. Um, I like the cluster over at the bottom right, as well as the huge amount of embellishments on the left hand side going all the way down. Um, and uh, yeah, I've, I've now um, skipped forward a little bit here and, and got everything stuck in place. Uh, I've raised almost everything on foam pads, uh, stickers, chipboard, everything. Um, and now I'm just coming in with some puffy stickers uh, and I'm uh, just embellishing around um, the layout with that. Now I have, um, I do, I don't think I have any I think I have one or two stars on this layout, but I have some smaller hearts. So I wasn't about to go star crazy. Um, I just wanted to bring in some other color of the puffer stickers. So I just went for the little dots um, rather than the star shapes. Um, and uh, just they just filled in some of the gaps. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much complete now. I'm just going to finish off with a few splatters of white paint. And I had to cover up the main subject of my photo, of course, because I didn't want to get like, white paint in the middle of his forehead or something um but yeah so now i have this um whole big area on the left hand side that's um embellished with this fabulous photo um so um i hope you've enjoyed that layout um i really enjoyed making it um i do love to use a big enlargement photo i should do more of them um and um yeah so thank you very much for joining me i hope this has inspired you that was nikki Rowland for bella boulevard using to the moon <laughs>